My dear friend, if you are reading this, it means that your angel has led you to this message for a reason. You may not understand it now, but trust in the guidance of your angel. They have a message for you that cannot wait until tomorrow. This is a secret that must be revealed to you before it's too late. You see, we often go through life with blinders on, not paying attention to the signs and messages that the universe is trying to send us. But your angel has chosen you to receive this message, and it is important that you open your heart and mind to what they have to say. Like this bead if you believe in God. Many of us go through life feeling lost, confused, and overwhelmed. We are constantly searching for answers, for meaning, for purpose. But the truth is, the answers are within us all along. Your angel is urging you to listen to your inner voice, to trust your intuition, and to follow the path that is meant for you. They want you to know that you have a special purpose in this world, and it is up to you to discover it. Tomorrow may never come, and your angel knows that. That is why they are asking you to open your heart and mind to this secret now, before it's too late. Don't let fear, doubt, or hesitation hold you back any longer. Your angel wants you to know that you are capable of achieving greatness, of overcoming any obstacle, and of living a fulfilling and meaningful life. But it all starts with you. It starts with accepting this secret and the power it holds. Type. I embrace my power. To confirm. Your angel wants you to know that you are loved, supported, and guided every step of the way. They are always by your side, ready to help and guide you. But they need you to take the first step. Open your heart and mind to this secret, and you will begin to see the world in a new light. You will start to notice the signs and messages that have been there all along, guiding you towards your true purpose and destiny. So, my friend, do not wait until tomorrow to open this secret. Your angel is urging you to do it now, before it's too late. Embrace this message with an open heart and mind and trust in the power of your angel's guidance. Your life will never be the same once you do. Embrace the secret and let it guide you towards the life you were always meant to live. Type yes if you needed this. Many times we don't realize that God is speaking to us. We feel an impression on the inside, a prompting to be good to someone. That's not random. That's God talking to us. Or maybe you're in a situation where you feel an uneasiness. Something says, it's not right. Stay away. That's not just your nerves. It's God protecting you. Don't ignore it. Don't talk yourself out of it. Just obey. If you follow that still, small voice, God says he will guide you along the best path for your life. If we're listening to his still, small voice, the promptings, the suggestions, the alarms, he will save us from heartache and pain. He'll lead us into promotion and favor. Too often we feel these impressions on the inside but we dismiss them as not making sense, or override or overanalyze them. Don't talk yourself out of it. Just obey. Anytime you obey, a blessing will always follow. Comment, Amen, if you believe. God has placed dreams and desires in every person's heart. 
but most times there's a season of waiting involved. Maybe you're waiting for a relationship to improve, waiting to get married, waiting for a promotion, or waiting to overcome an illness. Much of life is spent waiting, but there's a right way to wait and a wrong way to wait. Too often, when things don't happen on our timetable, we get down and discouraged or anxious and fretful. That's because we're not waiting the right way. Notice that today's verse doesn't say, if you wait, it says, as you wait. The fact is that we're all going to wait. It goes on to say that we should consider how the farmer waits patiently and eagerly. We're not supposed to sit around discouraged. We're supposed to be hopeful, positive and full of expectancy. Be today. No matter what you are praying for, expect things to change in your favor. Today could be the day that God turns it all around. As you wait with patience and expectancy, you'll see God open the door to the abundant harvest He's promised in every area of your life. Type 333 If you trust God, I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Have you ever wondered what it took for Mary to be chosen to birth Jesus? How did she get that job? What did it feel like for her? It's a fascinating thing to consider, and I can't help but believe, when I read through her story, that she was blessed and favored because she remained faithful to the word God had given her. The same is true for you and me. And though either of us will be called to birth Jesus in a physical sense, we do have him living inside of us. Like Mary, we're Jesus carriers, and we've been called, right where we are, to reach a lost and broken humanity with his love and grace. So ask him today for more of his presence. Ask him to use you effectively right where you are for his glory. As you are faithful, I'm praying you will experience what Mary did the fulfillment of God's word to you. Type. I am ready to shine. To affirm. Don't spend your day looking for something easy to do instead of tackling the hard things that need to be done. Do the hard things first, the ones you dislike the most, and get them out of the way. For example, don't look at your distasteful jobs and think, I will do those later. The hard tasks will nag at you all day long and drain your energy for doing the things you want to do. The spirit of passivity will rob you of productive energy but you have the power of God in you to overcome procrastination. Pray and ask God to help you finish the tasks you have been dreading. Work on what is important first, and soon they will no longer be ruling or ruining your day. Type Amen if you agree. What you're about to discover today is life-changing. One minute you're struggling to pay bills, swamped with money worries, and the next minute, you're attracting money like steel to a magnet. What makes this life-changing difference in people's lives? It's called the genetic wealth code once you activate it. Your life will never be the same again. You can activate your genetic wealth code here today. It's best to activate this code now, while this page is still live. Tap the link in my comments to activate your genetic wealth code. I had been praying for something I wanted very badly. It seemed a good thing to have, 
a thing that would make life even more pleasant than it was and would not in any way hinder my work. God did not give it to me. Why? I do not know all of his reasons, of course. The God who orchestrates the universe has a good many things to consider that have not occurred to me, and it is well that I leave them to him. But one thing I do understand, he offers me holiness at the price of relinquishing my own will. Do you honestly want to know me? He asks. I answer yes. Then do what I say. He replies. Do it when you understand it. Do it when you don't understand it. Take what I give you. Be willing not to have what I do not give you. The very relinquishment of this thing that you so urgently desire is a true demonstration of the sincerity of your lifelong prayer. I will be done. So instead of hammering on heaven's door for something that it is now quite clear God does not want me to have, I make my desire an offering. The long for thing is material for sacrifice. Here, Lord, it's yours. Type 444. If you believe, God is watching you, and he sees everything you do. The psalmist said of him, You know my down sitting and my uprising. You understand my thought afar off. God is eagerly seeking opportunities to reward you for your faith in him. Jesus said, Behold, I am coming soon, and I shall bring my wages and rewards with me, to repay and render to each one just what his own actions and his own work merit. Revelation 22 verse 12 that means that people will receive pay for the actions they commit while on this earth. Now, that can be exciting in one way, and frightening in another way. We need to realize that God is watching us, and that no one is really getting by with anything. God neither sleeps nor slumbers. He knows everything that goes on behind closed doors. So we need to live as if we really believe that God is watching our every move. When we sit and have a conversation, we need to remember that God is the unseen guest who is listening to everything we have to say. Do not become discouraged in doing good, for God sees everything you are doing for others on his behalf. Not one good work that you do with the right motive has gone unnoticed. God sees every person you help, every person you are kind to. He knows every time you show somebody a little bit of mercy, every time you show someone forgiveness, and he will reward you for it. Type yes if you're ready. Gifts. This one-minute prayer from Biblical Time manifests wealth and abundance into your life. If you're a spiritual person and empath looking to better the world and yourself, then this will be the most important message you read all day. Because once you hear this divine prayer, you will finally break the curse of poverty and restore your connection with the universe allowing you to ask, manifest and receive an abundance of blessings. Tap the link in my bio and listen to the one minute prayer now. God has put gifts and talents in you. He's given you dreams and goals that are unique to your life. But it's easy to let fear hold you back. What if I try it and it doesn't work? What if people don't accept me? What if I don't have the talent? Too often we let the what ifs talk us out of it. Quit hiding the dreams and talent that God has given you. He created you to shine, to make a difference, 
to leave your mark. Your gift isn't just for you, it's to share with the world. Life is short, so stir up what God put in you. You can't wait till the fear goes away and then you'll do it. The fear may not go away. You're going to have to do it in spite of the fear. That's what faith is all about. Nobody who's ever done anything great in life has done it without fear. Type. I'm abundant. To claim. For I will restore health to you, and I will heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the great locust, the grasshopper, and the caterpillar, my great army, which I sent amongst you. You will have plenty to eat and be satisfied, and will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people will never again be disappointed. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Uphold me with a willing spirit. Dot I say it three times because it is a done deal. I restore you. I heal your wounds. I see your wounds, but I am bigger than they are. My bomb covers and restores you. I restore all the years that were torn from you. I restore your joy. Comment. Amen. If you believe, when I first started trying to spend time with God, it was hard for me. I felt silly and self-conscious. I was bored. I would sit and yawn and try not to fall asleep. Like anything worthwhile, Sitting quietly in the presence of the Lord takes time to master. You have to keep at it. And it is not something you can learn from someone else. I don't think it is possible to teach another human being to fellowship with God. Why? Because each person is different and has to learn for himself how to communicate with his Creator. My fellowship time includes prayer of all kinds, reading books that God is using to help me, Bible study, waiting on God, repentance, crying, laughing, receiving revelation. My time with Him is different almost every day. God has an individual plan for each person. If you will go to Him and submit to Him, he will come into your heart and commune with you. He will teach and guide you in the way you should go. Don't try to do what someone else does or to be what someone else is. Just allow the Lord to show you how you are to fellowship with Him. Then follow as He directs your life step by step. Type. This too shall pass. To affirm. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientists. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. I have a secret to share with you, one that your guardian angel wants you to know before it's too late. Are you ready to listen? Open your heart and mind as you read this, for it may just change your life. We all have a guardian angel watching over us, guiding us and protecting us from harm. They are messengers from the divine, sent to help us navigate through life's challenges and find our true purpose. They are always with us, but sometimes we forget to listen to their whispers and signs. But today, your angel is asking you to pay attention and read this secret before tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Because tomorrow is not promised to us. We never know what the future holds. 
and it's better to be prepared than to regret not taking action when we had the chance. Type. I love you God. To affirm. So what is this secret that your angel wants you to know? It's simple yet powerful. Live in the present moment. We often get caught up in our past regrets and future worries that we forget to appreciate the present. But it's important to remember that the present is all we have, and it's a gift that we must cherish. Living in the present means letting go of the past and not worrying about the future. It means being fully present and engaged in the moment without any distractions. How many times have you missed out on a beautiful moment because you were too busy scrolling through your phone or lost in your thoughts? Your angel wants you to put away those distractions and be present in every moment of your life. Type yes to affirm this to yourself. Why is it so important to live in the present? because it's the only way to truly experience life. When we are fully present, we are able to appreciate the little things that bring us joy, the beauty of nature, and the love of those around us. It also allows us to be more mindful and grateful, which in turn brings more happiness and fulfillment into our lives. Living in the present also means being true to yourself and following your heart. Your angel wants you to know that you are worthy and deserving of a life that aligns with your values and passions. Don't let fear or society's expectations hold you back from pursuing your dreams. Your angel is urging you to take that first step towards your goals and to trust that everything will fall into place. Type. I believe in myself. To affirm. Furthermore, living in the present also means forgiving yourself and others. We all make mistakes and holding on to grudges or regrets only weighs us down and prevents us from moving forward. Your angel wants you to release that burden and make peace with yourself and those who have wronged you. Forgiveness is not easy, but it's necessary for our own inner peace and growth. Lastly, your angel wants you to know that living in the present also means taking care of yourself. In this fast-paced world, we often neglect our physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Your angel is reminding you to prioritize self-care and to listen to your body and mind. Take breaks when needed. Nourish yourself with healthy food and positive thoughts, and make time for activities that bring you joy and relaxation. May the Lord's face shine upon you. In conclusion, your angel is asking you to read the secret before tomorrow because they want you to live a fulfilling and meaningful life. Don't wait for a wake-up call or a major life event to start living in the present. Take this as your sign and make the necessary changes to live a more mindful and purposeful life starting now. Your angel will be right there beside you, guiding and supporting you every step of the way. Trust in their guidance and open your heart to the present moment. Remember, Tomorrow is not promise, but today is a gift. So let's make the most out of it and live our best life. Your angel believes in you, do you? With love and light, comment thank you Jesus Lord for everything. When we have an attitude of faith we are positive, hopeful, expecting good things that pure eye is letting sunshine into our life. But when we go around stressed out, worried, or thinking the clouds over our health or finances are never going to change, 
that's stopping the sun. It's causing more clouds to roll in, more defeat, and more mediocrity. We have to start letting some sunshine into our life. It doesn't start with God, it starts with us. Instead of being discouraged by the dark clouds, our attitude should be. Any moment this can change. Healing is coming, promotion is coming, the right person is coming, breakthroughs are coming. If you want to see the clouds open up, you have to have this expectancy. Shake off the negativity, quit talking about what's not working out, and turn it around. God, I know you're in control of these clouds. They will pass. I believe at any moment I'm going to see that unexpected sunshine. Needed this? Type yes to affirm. You are destined for blessing. Are you living the good life that God has prearranged for you? Everything you need to live as an overcomer is inside of you by the power of the Holy Spirit. As a believer, there are seeds of success on the inside of you. There are blessings in store for you. If you'll get into agreement with God in your thoughts, attitudes, words, and actions, then you will be positioned to receive all of his spiritual blessings. Choose to start your day by declaring what God says about you. Declare, I am blessed. I am prosperous. I am healthy and strong. I have favor. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I am the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. Friend, when you start speaking like that, all of heaven takes notice. Your faith activates his plan for your life. Angels are dispatched on your behalf. Blessings are set in motion. Before you know it, you are living the good life he promised and moving forward into the destiny of blessing he has in store for you. Type 1010 To get blessing Before your dream comes to pass, God will test your character. You have to prove that you can handle what he's entrusted you with. God gave Joseph a dream that he would be in leadership but his brothers took away his coat of many colors that represented his father's favor and sold him into slavery in Egypt, where he was falsely accused and put in prison. These weren't just random bad breaks. God was testing his character. It wasn't fair, but Joseph didn't get bitter. He kept passing the test. His brothers took his robe, but they couldn't take his favor. They took his freedom, but they couldn't take his anointing. They took him from his home, but they couldn't take his dream. All these steps prepared him to become the prime minister of Egypt. Be a Joseph. Do the right thing when it's hard. That difficulty is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you. Keep passing the test. God is about to release you into a new level of favor, influence, and resources. May the Lord's face shine upon you.